In this video, I am going to show you how to load and use the new title block, which now includes a revision schedule. So um, here we are on a sheet in my project file. If we go to Insert, Load Family, So in this window, you will have to navigate to the blue standard library, um, which is at S Revit library families blue standard. And inside there, I want to go to the sheets directory because that's where I store my um, title blocks. So in there, we have two families. We have the 2234 main family, which was the previous title block that we were using. And now I've also created the 2234 revision schedule family. So um, load that family in through this window. I've already got it loaded into my project. So you can see underneath the families in the project browser, underneath annotation symbols. If you go down, now I have sheet 2234 and sheet 2234 revision schedule. So go back to your uh, sheet window and select the title block and you can see when I select that it says sheet 2234 in my properties window. If I use the drop down and switch to the revision schedule version you can see this uh, box with all of the sheet descriptions and uh, revision numbers has changed. Um, and so right now there's no information in the revision. It says revision one, says date, and says description. So in order to change this information, we need to go into the project settings. So underneath your manage tab, if you go down, this is the additional, um, additional settings, additional information. Um, and then the fourth one down is sheet issues and revisions. So if we open up that one, you can see right now we have two revisions so you have number one and number two um, and they're just generic information so if you change the date information to be a real date and change the description and hit apply you can see revision one in my sheet change the date and change the description so i have a second number in my sheet issues and revisions um, and if I want that second number to show up as well just hit OK to get out of there go back into your sheet um, and underneath the properties this button right here where it says revisions on sheet click edit and you can see that the descriptions of the revisions that I just put into my project show up here and if you want that to show up inside of your title block for a specific sheet you just have to check the box next to it so you can see the second one showed up as soon as I did that. So this is something that you set the revisions once for the project, but you have to go into each individual sheet and change this revisions on sheet in order to uh, make it show up for whatever sheets you want it to show up on. So I'm going to turn it off for now um, because I want to show you one other feature that you can do with this. So if we go into a drawing window, select it and go up to activate view. Now I'm inside this window. Um, if I want to add a revision cloud into this drawing, one feature of revision clouds is that they also link to revision. So I can assign this rev revision cloud to either contract drawings or to this revision two. So I'm gonna say, let's do it to revision two. You're in your sketch window, sketch it out and just outline the windows and hit check. You can see that even though my revisions on sheet um, did not have the second revision checked, it showed up in my title block. And the reason it did that is if you have a view placed on a sheet and you have a revision cloud assigned to that revision, it will automatically show up on that sheet. So if the, if the revision cloud is visible, it'll automatically show up in your title block. Um, and another nice thing that you can do with these is you can tag them so that you know I have a uh, revision cloud tag and this tag tells me which revision this cloud is associated with and of course just like all your annotation tags if you go in select the element and change the properties now it changes to revision one and what that also did is now because the sheet doesn't have any revision clouds in the views that are linked to revision two it took that off of the um, off of the title block 
So if you want to switch out your old title block for your new title block on all of your pages, the easiest way to do that is go to a page. Um, let's set this to the old title block. So if you select it and then right click and you say select all instances in the entire project of the old title block. Now it has all of my old title blocks selected. Just go into your properties window and change to the new revision schedule. And that should change all of your sheets in your project to the new title block. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, I am going to try to make new videos as we come out with new features, just so you all know how to use them and you're up to date with the latest standard families that we're developing for all of our projects. And if you have any questions about this video or anything else, please uh, give me a call or write me an email. Thanks, guys.